Now we're going to look at some of the student projects I've been talking about over this whole course. We have four projects and two groups to look at. So let's begin by just watching the video result first and then we'll go ahead and analyze it and look at it in a little bit more te detail in the context of all the things we've done. I do want to emphasize that it's great to try and remember the goal of the class is to not make video that's really bad, right? The goal is not to be great. If the goal is to be great, I'm not sure we can make it. That is really hard. But we want to at least use the equipment we have and try to get by to not make big mistakes. And both of these groups of students did a good job with the equipment they had. They used equipment from home. They did not come into the lab and borrow or use expensive equipment. They said it made them nervous. So they used the cameras and things they had. And for that, I think they did avoid doing some bad things. So let's take a look at those. Here's the first video from our first group. Now these videos are the training videos. So let's keep that in mind. This is for training. And remember the assignment was something to train students who are new freshman students at this university, which is National Jones University in Taiwan. So what do they need to be trained in? You pick the topic. So the groups picked their own topic, but it had to be related to some target market segment or subpopulation of the freshman group. Let's take a look at the first video. Okay, that was our first video, and let's begin to look at it a little bit more in detail. So the target market segment for this are female students living in the dormitory. So that's a real nice clear target, I like that. So right away we begin with a good idea. They have a clear target market segment. Let's take a look at the video here, what was happening. So we begin the video with a student taking off her school shirt. And the reason she's doing that is because it's her high school shirt. So it's kind of, if you didn't know that, anyone who's in Taiwan or China or Japan knows that, they all wear Every, all the students wear their uniforms, and this is her high school uniform. So you can see that right there, her high school uniform. So she's going to take that off, and that's a great idea because what she's doing is symbolizing that she's uh, graduated from high school. That's a pretty cool idea. And what I'm going to do is mute the sound, and we're going to just go ahead and watch it bit by bit while I make a commentary. Here we go. So she takes that off and then runs into the front gate of the school. So that's a great idea. And then she's talking to other students and living in the dormitory, and she's feeling that she's got uh, overweight a little bit. And of course, I think we all have that feeling when we go to school and we're freshmen, we live on campus and we get overweight. So I think that the people watching this, the target market segment, can understand it pretty well. So, so far, so good. 
and she doesn't know what to do about it, but of course the answer is that you can actually take your own food, which would be more healthy maybe, than buying instant noodles, and you can keep it inside of the refrigerator at school. And so we've done a pretty good job here. She does have, uh, this group does use some graphics, and I did ask them to try to use subtitles when possible to keep things nice and clear. There we go. So this is telling us that the students can go ahead and keep that, in, that food in a refrigerator in the dormitory. And this video is going to explain to you how to do that. So it's kind of like a title. And we have this kind of, not at the beginning, but towards almost towards the middle, about one third into the video. But that's okay because that beginning kind of caught our interest, didn't it? That running into the campus. So, so far so good. They list the times, which I really thought was a great idea to be clear. Don't forget, this is an instructional video. She's going to run over to the place where you can keep it, check it into the refrigerator on the dormitory area. She gets in there, and then here's the paperwork you need to fill out. And then you put it in the refrigerator, and you can come back at a later time and pick it up. And then here she is jumping right back and opens up the refrigerator and takes it out. So I think it's very clear here that we have a nice example of we have a hero at the beginning, we have the hero at the end feels she's accomplished something, and here we have people she grabs a hold of and says, hey, you know, you keep your food there, what do you think? So we have some testimonials, which is really cool. And at the end, our hero is happy and even gives us a kind of tagline saying, you can do it too, right? Okay, that's that's... I think it really follows the formula very well. It's clear to understand that this is an instructional video. It's really making it easy to understand. A nice little piece of information. Well, well done. Now let's look a little bit at how they avoided bad things. And I really want to draw your attention to a bit in the refrigerator section here, if I can find that again. Here she is checking in. Yep, checking in. And here she is putting it into the refrigerator. We have a nice medium shot there. Then we jumped over to this coming back. Now, it would have been nice if maybe we showed a clock or we showed the time passing because we're not really sure the time passed. So a little bit there could have been more clear. But watch this. This is the thing I really think is well done. This shot right here. Now, I asked her, how did they do this? I asked the team, how did you guys do that shot where the refrigerator opens and you're reaching in? And of course, the answer is, we put the camera inside the refrigerator. And I thought, huh, that is really creative. And what I really like about this shot is, watch it, she reaches in and then it grabs focus. It pulls the focus. Now, in videography or filmography, you know, photography, we call this pulling the focus. It's purposely out of focus, then you pull the focus. It's actually a hard thing to do, but you know, our group here did it by accident. I asked them, how did you do that, that you got it out of focus and in focus? And they said, they did it by accident. They turned on autofocus, put it inside the refrigerator. When the door is closed, it's focused on the door. When the door opens, it's out of focus, and then it snaps into focus when her face comes into it. I was like, whoa, what a great idea. They said it was by accident. And you know what? That violates one of my rules. Remember, I said in another lesson, don't use autofocus. Turn autofocus on because you lose control. So that just goes to show, sometimes to be creative, you need to break the rules. You don't always follow the rules. Doesn't mean that something turns out bad. Sometimes it could turn out really good. I just thought that was an awesome little shot. And she pulls it out. And so that's really nice showing our hero going through a process. And then in the end, we get some um, testimonials. Now, in the testimonials, we did have some trouble with the sound. And that was the biggest problem with this video. Again, the sound. It's the sound that gets you. The sound is the hard part. We've got the music track, which is exciting. And it's very important to make sure that the music is publicly open to being used. And you go to YouTube and find a list of downloads that they have that you can use. It's called Podsafe Music or Creative Commons music that you're allowed to use because it's licensed for use in your videos. That's not true just because the music's on the internet. 
So they did find some music. They told me that they checked it very carefully. It's pod safe. And they put it in here. But they put it in, when they mixed it, it's too loud. So when they're using their editor, this is very loud. And then the sound of their speaking is very soft. However, it's not too bad because most of this video, you really don't need to hear anything. And that's another good thing about this video. It's a lot of show, don't tell. This group showed us a lot and didn't really tell us a lot, which is great. They did use subtitles, which was really helpful. So they kind of laid it out step by step for what you need to do. But it's not a person there sitting there talking. We do get the testimonials at the end. But again, they had trouble with the audio. You can see, for example, in this right here, we have a wireless microphone. If you can see that there, this wireless mic. And there's the tie clip. And we have the arm of our sound person holding out to try to get the sound. And it didn't turn out very good. And in fact, a little bit before here, we have another person they talked to, and the sound was very muffled, very unclear. Right here. Okay, I asked them what happened there. They said, well, they had the mic, they gave it a try, they got back to home and the sound was just that way. So, wow, okay, not much you can do about it then, is there? Look at this with me again, just this one little piece. I'll turn up the sound and we can listen to it. So you can see the sound gave them some trouble there, didn't it? The best thing they told me about that was they tried their best, but when they got back, that's the way it was. Good lesson for you. You've got to watch out for the sound. I keep saying it, it's like half of this course is talking about sound, but sound is so important. But look, even here, when they're trying to be careful what happened, they get back and, you know, stuff happens. They weren't sure what happened. They don't have many people to work with. They were just three people on their team. So how can you be sure? And the thing is, once that sound doesn't work, it's game over because there's no way to get it back. You can't really go ask people. They did try to dub it over a little bit. They used another person's voice to put in there to try to cover it up a little bit. That's very, very hard to do. So lesson learned, right? What's another lesson we can take from that? We can actually say, the more you make your video show, don't tell, show, the less you need to worry about the sound going wrong because people are speaking less, right? So that's another lesson. Maybe less talking and more action. Okay, one more time, let's watch this video from beginning to end and see if you can appreciate all the things that they've incorporated to execute what I think is a pretty good training video. So let's jump back and watch it from start to end. I'm going to put in my comments while we're going. All right, the music is a bit loud here. We're going into the campus. I love that long angle. And then we have a little bit of a medium angle, then a close-up angle, so they made good progress. A nice close-up of our hero here. And we're using a handheld camera, but it's not too shaky. It's pretty smooth. We're getting a little bit of movement, looking at things, looking at our point of view, which is nice. And then this, the stuff I love, which is the whole refrigerator thing. And that's the key, isn't it? The lesson you need to learn to handle your food in the room. You've got the time nice and clear. You're running over there, you've got to make the time. This is a nice little lesson, too. They're saying don't be late, don't be early. So, again, show, don't tell. Uh, we can see you've got some paperwork to fill out. You've got the subtitles, which help us make it clear, but no talking. And then you've got to show, don't tell. You've got this shot putting it in the refrigerator. I like that medium shot there. We have this shot from behind the desk, which looks very nice. And I love this shot. This is a killer shot for me. It's wonderful. It's out of focus. And then here's our hero being happy. This is some job she's done. She's done. She's done. She's done. She's done. She's done. Too bad it didn't come out good on the audio. This is best when they re-dubbed over. But here we got a nice little shot of hero coming out. There you go. Oops. 
So especially at the end there, that was a great, the audio was good at the end. They were using maybe the mic on the camera, but they got very close to the subject of the talent, so that worked out for them. Even there, you could hear the birds in the background. So lesson learned, that audio is hard, especially on location, just very, very hard. All right, good job on that one. Okay, now we're going to jump right into group two, and they had, again, the same assignment, freshmen, to train them to do something, but remember we looked at their treatment before we looked at their pitch, we looked at their script and their storyboard, it was something about a building, and they were using a horror genre, training, but then inside a little bit of horror to keep it funny, to be a little bit scary in a way. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, now, um, clearly a very different approach, right? Okay, let's first look at the good, good stuff that's inside that video. Uh, I talked to those guys and it was two people in the group, so wow, they're really working hard. It's not easy to get a production done just with two people, I can tell you that. Some of the interesting things they did is they did employ the horror genre. How did they do that? They watched horror movies and they looked at the camera angles and they figured out how does that work and you saw that. A lot of low angles of the feet, and then a close-up of a hand in the elevator, giving you that scary feeling. At the beginning, the video really did work. The problem came in where, what's the message, right? So I think in the end, they're trying to tell us, don't use this building at night, or don't go on the elevator at, at night. And I asked them what the meaning was, and they weren't really clear. I think actually what it is, is this one building that they're talking about has a bit of a reputation for being haunted or having ghosts in it. In fact, in reality, a number of students over the years have jumped off that building committing suicide, so it's kind of, it does really have a reputation. But that wasn't made clear here at all. And they wanted to show and not tell, but they really ran out of you know, images to show that message. And I think they themselves weren't really clear on the message. So that training doesn't really work out, does it? They did a good job, they gave it a good try, but let's go over the video now together and we'll watch it and I'll give you a commentary as we go along for the good parts and the uh, uh, parts that didn't work out so good. So we do begin with this idea of the building. They do show the building from medium. I think it would have been better from a long shot and specify. Now here they do a good job with the car and these effects of the coloration they did inside their editor, so they take down the resolution, which just goes to show you, you can make some great video, because in the end, even if your camera has low resolution, you're going to make some kind of effect like this, to change it kind of grayish or yellow, or green, and use that inside the editor. Here you can see very roughly, they kind of pixelated it a lot, you can even see a lot of and those close-ups and meeting shots work great. Here's where it begins to fall apart because they want to give the message. And they want to have a little bit of comedy using the horror genre. It doesn't quite work out for them. Now we switch back to the regular color. So their idea was, up. Oh, this is real life. The other part was just like a silly thing. But they've still got the message, don't take the elevator at night. Okay. Well, I think they accomplish getting it done and that's the number one thing get your video done and you've already done something that is really hard there were no parts in there that were really terrible and one thing that saved it from being really terrible is they didn't record a lot of sound did they they kind of recorded it and then put the sound in post-production footsteps 
and the music playing. And then they change the music from scary to a little bit of humorous. So that kind of set the tone. The part that was missing was the training though, and I didn't really get that part, but it was a good try. All right, so we'll look at more projects later. Good luck with your project.